It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. Last outing for Phoenix, they won that game again. And I don't think I was the only one surprised, not just by their win, but guys, by what an emphatic win it was. Yeah, facing that hostile crowd, they have just found a way to kind of tune out the noise and focus on the game. Well, the best way to silence a crowd is with your offensive game. Those fans got quiet in a hurry when the bucket started raining down. And now the opening lineup for Phoenix. Chris Paul is out there with Devin Booker. Then it's Kaminsky. Then there's Bull. And it's Nader in at the small forward. Well, Danny Green excels at recognizing when his teammates have open looks and putting it on the money. Nicely done. Here's Paul. After Montreal picked up three with their last shot, Booker against Dinwiddie. Yep, that one goes. Well, you know, the playoffs are right around the corner, Greg. Do you think any of these teams change their approach for playoff contenders? Kev, you know, goal number one is health. I mean, outside of that, you're, you're looking at seeding. You're trying to fine-tune, but you want to just get it dialed in and get ready for what's about to be a marathon run, you hope, in the postseason. Find that fine-tuning. And right there, you see Devin Booker's feel for the game. This guy knows exactly when to give it up. Dinwiddie. And another three for Montreal. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Dinwiddie's gone two for two so far from three. Paul surveying the floor. Shoots over Dinwiddie. Another one falls for Phoenix. We've heard the term master of the mid-range. To Chris Paul, it's apropos. Shoots. Again, Montreal scores. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. It's a five-point game. Inside. And finished off by Kaminsky. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. And basketball in the blood for Devin Booker. I mean, his father, Melvin, started at the University of Missouri and played pro ball. Started in high school. Devin trained with his father, trying to follow his path. And here is Paul. Following the three from Brooke Lopez, Nader's shot's good. There's a level of floor awareness that has always been innate to Chris Paul. What a pretty find. There's Green with the three. Rebound by the Suns. And we know the story. Booker moving from Michigan to Mississippi to live with his father and develop his skills. And 4.30 a.m. alarms to train on the beach before the summer sun. Getting to practice two hours early and staying late. Booker, not a freak athlete, so he had to work harder and drill the fundamentals. And it's Paul with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. Trailing by four. Teardrop shot. And he lays it up and in. Time out, time out. Paul's got his second bucket of the night. Uh, Chris Paul not only has a great handle, but, man, his footwork is so good. And first time out of the game called for Montreal. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. Now here's Jackson. Hands it from downtown. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. To the wing right side. Shoots the three. That shot off the mark. And it's Montreal the other way. From deep, Brooks. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. Suns trail by eight. 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Dozier. Five to shoot. Brissett passes to Brooks. There's the three. Ball's knocked loose. Here's Galloway. It's good. Just streaking in. Galloway making the most of that one. Here's Brissett. And it's good. But hold on. The officials may want to look at that one on the replay monitor. 
And indeed, they're going to look at it again. They need to be certain he beat the buzzer. And the replay center out in Sakak is delivering the footage. And, and, and guys, it sure looks like the shot left his hands just a moment too late. Oh, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. Montreal leads by six. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And from what you've seen from Montreal, uh, guys, what do you think? I know it's early, but all those three-pointers, boy, do they add up. And that's what has them ahead in this game. Their floor spacing has been just tremendous. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the court right now for Montreal, they've got Brooke Lopez. Jackson is out there with Rajon Rondo. Then there's Dylan Brooks. And it's Brissett in at the power forward. Outside Rondo. Fires the three. A new 14 for Montreal. The steal. Here's Brokaw. Brooks covering. Poked away. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. And it's the Suns with the ball. Now here's Payne. He's covered by Rondo. Payne passes to Dozier. Just five on the clock. The Suns need to get a shot off. And again, it's the Suns missing. Montreal leading by six. Here's Jackson. Up again, and it's put back up and in by Rondo. And buckets like that have been hard to come by. Not the most exciting game. Both sides look way off in terms of their shooting. Well, you have to appreciate the defensive battle for sure. Both squads struggling on the offensive end. We call this grit and grind. Bowl, he's checked in for the Suns. Devin Booker comes in for Langston Galloway. And it's Smith finishing it off. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Here's Dinwiddie. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. It's stolen by Smith. Now Montreal moving it up. Smith's running. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Uh, this is where Dennis Smith Jr. is so dangerous. Excellent in transition. My goodness. Here's Booker. Banked in off the glass. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Dinwiddie attacking. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Danny Green, he's checked in for Montreal. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. You look at Portland, they're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. You know, right now for Montreal, they've fulfilled expectations and then some. Riding high down the back nine now, looking invincible. How about the ability to adjust and finish in different situations? Devin Booker elite as a scorer. And it's Smith missing. Suns trail by eight. Here's Paul, and good. He got the English that time as it falls. Six points for Chris Paul. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. Dinwiddie against Booker. And the basket is good. Well, comparisons are always difficult, but hard not to see some Clay Thompson in Booker's game. Smith for three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. 
Smith's got five points now this quarter. And you know, he's going to continue to bury those if that's how they're going to DM up. Paul dishes to Booker. The pass to Bull. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Yeah, Bull with the unique combination of height and skill. That's a challenge for any defender. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And that one falls for Bull. So for the Suns, Dozier's checked in, and Langston Galloway subbed in for Booker. He hits both from the stripe. And like his father, Manu, Bowles' combination of size and scoring is very unique. The, the key for him is just staying healthy. Montreal leading by seven. Here's Brissett. And another three for Montreal. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Paul. Green with the rebound. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. And Smith launches it from deep, and no good in the last second attempt this time. And so it's Montreal with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And don't go away. We'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Well, for Montreal. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. Some great. And that's going to do it. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Setting the floor for the Suns. They've got Frank Kaminsky. Chris Paul is out there with Devin Booker. Then there's Bull. And it's Nader in at the three spot. Oh, he's going up for the alley-oop here. And, and, you know, entering the draft, Bull was a polarizing prospect. Scouts didn't know who to compare him to and maybe still haven't figured it out. From deep, Green buries it from three-point range. Green's got the lead up to 11 now for Montreal. Booker looking around. Can't hit that one. And it's Montreal the other way. Here's Poole. Off target with his three. Suns trail by 11. Booker right side. And the dunk by Booker. Well, this guy is getting better and better at finishing with force near the rim. Go to work, Devin Booker. And what you like about Nader, dating back to his college days, he's a tough guy who can make big shots. And, Greg, because you played in the league, you know that's the kind of thing that can help lengthen a career. You need rotational guys that you can count on. And sometimes when you least expect it, it's on the biggest time stage. Out, and out. Nader is willing to take and make tough shots. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. So both teams making some changes here. Montreal calls timeout. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. Three-pointer, Brooks knocks down the three ball. Brooks has got six. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Down low, here's Smith, and Smith with the stuff. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. It's good from long range. And how about the last five made shots have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Here's Payne, and it's sent back by Lopez. 
Oh, the long arms of Brooke Lopez effortlessly sends that back. Brooks misses. Suns trail by 14. Releases. Payne can't hit. And here's Brooks. He'll bring it up for Montreal. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. We always had great instincts defensively. Rondo using that length there to come up with the steal. Pass to Brokoff. Back to Payne. Booker outside. Offensive rebound. And just miss after miss right now. Montreal leading by 19. Jackson from long range. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Jackson's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for Montreal. Timeout called. The Suns. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? So for Montreal, Brissett's checked in, and Smith's subbed in for Frank Jackson. And play stops, whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to. To blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. For three, Smith. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got his fourth rebound in this one. A nice shot by Dozier. I like the recognition of the mismatch there, immediately making the defense pay. Passes to Lopez. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. Well, if you allow Lopez to get that kind of touch, it's really hard to guard the seven-footer without fouling him. Ball, he's checked in for the Suns. Ball comes in for Cameron Payne. Rick Lopez hits them both. Second half here, we're just over three and a half minutes into it. To the inside, here's Paul. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points, so one free throw coming up. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. For Phoenix, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. And team free throw numbers really about as good as you could ask for. Around 80% on the season. And that one's good by Lopez. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. A shot by Paul. Nobody around. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Look at Chris Paul getting aggressive. He's not going to let that three go unanswered. He's too competitive for that. Brooks with the bucket. And so it's Montreal cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. We've got Green. Dennis Smith is out there with Brooke Lopez. And it's Brissett in at the power forward position. That's just too easy for Ball. Once he gets the right position, his focus there is on the finish. Poole's gone two or three from the field. Pass to Nader. All up top, covered by Smith. Bull. Lopez with the block. And they get it back. Here's Poole. The three. The kick out to Lopez. It's good. The assist that time from Smith. 11 points for Brooke Lopez. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. And the pass to Paul. To the paint. Goes up with it. And too long on the shot. And it's out of bounds to Montreal. They'll retain possession. Active hands from him as he's able to deflect that pass out of bounds. 
Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. And Bahamute's checked in for the Suns. Alexander comes in for Langston Galloway. You know, winning that championship as you did, Greg, for UNLV, many people don't remember you played much of that season with a broken jaw. Well, Kevin, I don't remember much of it, to be honest with you. Uh, mm. It was pretty <laughs> hazy. I lost 19 pounds over the course of the season. Oh, I was goodness. championship night. I was 168 pounds. No and, uh, kidding. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was wired wow. shut for eight ways, weeks. Did miss a game, but I tell you what, I don't know if I would do that today. But, you know, it, it, it did turn out well with the championship as I recall you broke it against Fresno State correct yes yeah got my legs taken out uh, from oh. under me and broke the fall with my mm. face oh no. yeah oh ouch guys they're looking for a spark here yeah a cold stretch offensively for sure the shots good from Paul and with that one it ends in an 11-0 run by Montreal Here's Horton Tucker, and it's off from three-point range. Phoenix with the ball. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Here's Paul. It's rebounded by Montreal. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Montreal. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And when you look at the season for these guys, they have amassed a lot of wins, 57. And adding in tonight, it'll make it 58. And they cap off the season series with one more win. It's been nothing but W's. Four straight. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Brook Lopez. And with the way he came out energized on the defensive end in particular, getting a hand on a lot of shots, that really got them rolling. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Suns. Here's Alexander, and he banks in the layup. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense, that's just way too easy, guys. Dinwiddie against Paul. Here's Horton Tucker. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection. Swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. The offensive rebound. Shots good from Mba Amute. You have to appreciate the doggedness and intensity on the glass. Wow. Here's Horton Tucker and another three for Montreal. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've gotten hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. So we see Montreal get the win here. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly.